What's going on guys? This is Danny Summers with Intercept MMA. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys can, please hit like and subscribe. Also hit the notification bell. That way anytime we're putting out new videos, new content, new fight breakdowns, you guys can see it first. What's up guys, Coach Danny, I'm here with Coach Anna. What we're gonna be getting into now is when we're firing the rear body kick, especially if people are looking to counter off that rear body kick or they're blocking properly, what she's gonna do now is kind of use that reaction to set up her strike. So a lot of times you hear people say, throw your punches to set up your kicks. In this instance, it's gonna be backwards. We're gonna use our kicks to set up our punches. So if she's firing a rear body kick, now naturally when we throw a rear body kick, there's a lot of mechanics that go into it for throwing it properly, right? We take a step, we start to move the head, we start to rotate the shoulder, we start to bring up the hip, and then from there she fires that kick up to the body. So normally when we throw a body kick, those are some things that we generally see. What she's gonna do now is just keep the rear shoulder back. So she's gonna throw her hip into the kick, but she's gonna keep the shoulder back. That way she has power for her strike after she's done throwing this body kick. So again, if she brings up this body kick, I'm gonna keep the pad here. On the way back is when she follows up with that cross. Now again, don't let the foot lose control. Make sure that you're putting that foot right back in a position where you're in your stance. If you have a habit of throwing your foot too far back, then all of a sudden it looks like you're about to do the splits in front of your partner. And if that's your game plan, that's cool, but you know. So again, she's gonna fire the kick. On the way back, bam, she fires that cross. And again, after that, now we can start thinking about our follow-ups. You can even go right back to the head if you want to, but get into a stance. Don't let yourself get off balance, that's the goal. So one more time, she's gonna fire, boom, boom. Now if we go on the other side, same thing. Boom, boom. And again, she can get power. Now if I told Anna, rotate her right shoulder into the body kick and then do the same thing. You see there's nothing there, right? So again, what she needs to feel is that right shoulder staying back so she can load up for the body kick. So again, this is something you guys can work on the bag. It's just the mechanics and the foot placement that's gonna help with the balance, but definitely one to try, especially in sparring. Give it a go. <laughs> 